so what I'm going to do now is um, apply a new um, const, uh, constant glucose monitoring sensor. Yay! So um, I've got the actual sensor in its charging pad. Um, some system of um, alcohol wipes. I use cotton wool and, and alcohol. Um, these these are self adhesive strips um, to keep the sensor in place once it's positioned. These are the standard hardware items that go that that go in um, beneath the skin and sit on the top housing the, the sensor. So if I go ahead then um, the first step is just clean off the site. Open the packet and remove the whole item out of the packet. Put that aside. Now what you need to do is line up, is push that up so that it goes in in that in that way and there's a little bit at the back here check out area which fits in over the um, the needle housing or where the the seat it's the seat for the sensor actual seat so anyway so so you push down firmly and then Yeah, so two fingers on each side, just lift up and <clears throat> that will come away. Always good to have a look and, and identify different bits. So that, that goes over the top, you've got um, that itself over here. Um, there's all sorts of issues that I've had with this, a lot of them relating to that. Um, so now you've got the needle and self-adhesive pads with this. So you need to sight it on your stomach and place your fingers on those each side and then press simultaneously those buttons so I'll show you what I mean <clears throat> on your belly always make sure it's below well below the ribs like about two to three fingers below the ribs otherwise you'll find it a very painful experience <clears throat> right so just locate where the Buttons are on the green pads and squeeze one, two, three. Right, so it went down, so that's in now and sided. Leave it to count, count to about three, four, and then before you remove that to make sure that it's stuck properly. So everything's out of there now, there's nothing. And it's all gone. Now we just have this left. Just hold each side of that and pull that out. 
So now we've got just that. <clears throat> and pull that. It's getting up. Pull that back. So to remove this tab at the back, grab the very bottom one and pull out. And as you do that, there will be an adhesive pad underneath. So pull that out. Right, so we've got that. Now we get one of these pads. Remove the backing. Grab it. So that you can place it on the plastic mechanism and in front of it and put that down lock that and then with these little tabs pull out both sides and stick the adhesive down onto your skin <coughs> Right, so that one. Now what you do is grab the sensor out of its charging bay. When you put it in, lock it into this position. You wait for a green light coming up here. There, see that green light? You see that, right? So then once that's happened, you put the adhesive strip over the top of that green light. <coughs> then with your second adhesive pad, again remove the backing. so that <coughs> it goes over both sides and um, over this area here and then just in front. Again, remove the strips and press down and the strips there and press down <coughs> and now the only thing left is right, on the screen you'll see the um, three selections, the third one being sensor. So you've got bolus, suspend and sensor and then there are more below that. But what you want is the sensor. Oh, okay. It wants me to do it. Sensor, press act. And then, so with the next screen, you'll see the middle choice is link to sensor. So go down to that and then press act. Act, yep. And then with this, it's on that already, press new sensor. So act. Um, and act again and it'll just tell you in two and a half hours you're going to get um, have to do a blood glucose reading so now just escape with that again back to an empty screen like that All right so now um, everything's going so the sensor is now active, or the sensor is now logged in anyway, and will be active once after you do your first blood glucose test. Um, anyway, that's that's that. <laughs> Thanks, guys.